Hi there, everybody. Doug Milburn, president and, uh, and co-founder of 45 Drives, here with the famous Brett Kelly. We are going to actually do, and I'm going to announce this right now, there's a video series coming up, and it's coming up very, very soon, that I think anybody who follows your channel is really going to love it. Mm -hmm. uh, and and the it and the Enterprise Track are, are, are born out of the same thing. So, uh, high-performance storage machines. Yep. Uh, we start off making big, slow boxes of spinners. Yeah. Our friends at Backblaze. Yeah. Slow. Yep. So Relative. slow. Relative. Yep. Yeah. And 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 optimize for what they were doing exactly. for. They're for cold, cold storage, right? Yep. Multiplex. Yeah. And bottlenecks coming. Uh, yeah. The original Backblaze machine. The, yes. the the original machines had performance bottleneck unapologetically. Yeah. Well, that was the design. That's what they were shooting for. Yeah. Since then, we've moved to higher and higher performance. Correct. And uh, we have gone through from our boxes of spinners. Yep. And direct wired architecture. Brett, real quick, what's direct wired architecture? Direct wired architecture is we give a path from each drive in through the HBA card directly into the PCI lane so there's no bottlenecking. There's an individual lane for each drive, meaning that we get every drop of I.O. performance out of the drive. Great for streaming, great for moving large files in and out of band. So what that means is 15, 30, 45, 60 units, the massive bandwidth that you can get is truly the sum of that number you see on the data sheet at 250 megabytes a second times the number of drives in. So because there's a direct line in through our direct wired nature into our HPA cards and then right into the PCI bus. So it's par parallelism, right? And, and when we parallel well storage devices, uh, without bottlenecking it, we got incredible performance. So in, in those boxes of spinners, our direct wired architecture, we've, uh, you know, that, that, that's been our thing, the, these boxes which you can squeak. Right, you said it, every last drop of performance that's in every drive happening at once, and you get this magic, and all of a sudden you can fill up one, two, three. I mean, people talk about doing five, 10 gigabit yep. network lines, saturated, yep. out of one box, which is pretty cool. Yes, it is. So, um, and we've done lots of demonstrations of performance of that. Yep. And uh, so anyway, this enterprise track, we've had these new machines. We're standing in front of a, uh, what's the machine in front of us this here? This is a C8. This is our front loading eight bay SATA hard three and drive. Half, three and a half bays. Yep. Thank you, thank you, yes. So it, it is an extension of our uh, original direct wired store line. Yeah. The, the, we have the four, the eight, the 15, the 30, 45, and then the 60. 60, or spinners. Spinners, so, yep. Yep. yep, again, good summary. So so we go to the next level, F8X, hybrid. F8X. Tell, tell us about the hybrid. What are we doing in a hybrid machine? Uh, so the hybrid machine is we kept that same, um, well actually here, I'll, I'll, I'll underline it with a great line we have is a little bit of flash goes a long way. Love it. So like like we've said, spinners, great. They are, they last for a long time. They can write to those things forever. There's a lot of streaming throughput from it, but they're not always great at smaller file access or low latency access. So our hybrid machines are exactly how it sounds, a hybrid of spinning drives and uh, flash drives. What goes on the flash, Brett? Um, we put uh, any, in particular file systems, let's say ZFS in this case, any of the metadata operations we can offload onto the SSDs. There's multiple different ways you can do that. The, um, the ZFS intent log, the L2 arc, you can do stuff like that. Or you can do things now with called a special VDEV. A special VDEV, which they ran out of fun, cool names, the open source world. They that's just boring. said, ah, special, screw it. That's, that's boring. <laughs> but, but what goes on the special VDEV is you can actually break off all the little metadata pieces. And what do I mean about metadata? It's all the information about the information on the file system. File, file table. name, file yep. table, how yep. big it is. Yep. That's the stuff that can slow down a massive file system because you go to read everything back and I, it needs a little bit of information from spinning disks, which I'll carry that, before it can stream everything off. So if you can offload that on some SSDs, hard drives, hybrids, great choice. And always remembering in performance, spinners, if the files are large, it's accessing the blocks is the issue. They can transfer stuff out and when you, as soon as you're parallel, you can saturate an awful lot of connectivity. Correct. And for large files, it's small files. Yep. So even when you get a large file in your mix, get the metadata, is challenging and slows you down. So the F8X series of hybrids speeds us up. 
We've been remiss. We created those machines, very successful. A lot of what we sell now, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But, yeah, in, in our big enterprise uh, storage applications uh, and, and be it clustered or, or be it uh, standalone server, yep. we, we sell an awful lot. In fact, they, yeah, they're the largest seller now. Yeah, they're the largest seller because it's an ideal for a SF cluster. Yep. Because the SF cluster really does well with what we talk about, offloading smaller tasks and some, uh, more latency sensitive tasks, the SSDs, and then still having massive bulk uh, storage on and, there. And, and spinners, cost, but the other thing, if you're in right intensive, yep. the thing, uh, you know, as we demonstrated in our stunt that's still mm -hmm. not finished. Yeah. Well, the SSDs put, put are. Two SS, the, the SSDs are finished, they're dead from writing. Mm -hmm. The enterprise uh, the spinners are still happily going after, yep. I don't even remember, it's been so it's damn long. It's been two and a half years. Two and a half years, yeah. full steam, writing on yeah. it. Uh, whereas we blew out the SSDs in a month or two. Yeah, and to the SSDs credit, it was exactly when it said it was going to happen. But that's the point. We know flash memory right now, as it works, cannot be written to forever. Anyway, and I will take this point to say one, my love of hard drives too, they get called spinning rust. We take advantage how how amazing the engineering is on these things. The last hard drives aren't quite going away. But, so, the, being, so there we go. That's the optimum cost and the ability to just work endlessly in heavy duty enterprise applications. And then let's get to the last, uh, the next part of this. You know what, and, uh, you, you know, let's, let's show it to them.